This is card number two. It says, the universal law of attraction defined. So this is going to explain just what it is. The law of attraction says, the essence of that which is like unto itself is drawn. And while this may seem like ra a rather simple statement, it defines the most powerful law in the universe. The law that affects all things at all times. For nothing exists that is unaffected by this powerful law. So just like, you know, being a, a, a wild animal in the mountains. What are they thinking about most of the time? Food. That is what they attract. That is what they go for. Or if they're thinking about, you know, whatever it is. Whatever you're thinking about, that's what you attract. So you really want to try to keep your thoughts as positive as possible. Because that is what you want to attract. Unless you do want to attract negative things. I don't think you do. <laughs> I do not think you do. So, you know, you catch yourself thinking negatively about something. Turn your thoughts around. Uh, things don't uh, manifest instantly. So there's always time to change your thoughts. So, let's get to the tarot card reading. If any of these cards fall out while I'm shuffling Taurus, I'm going to put them back in the deck. They're very, very slippery. So we have a few cards left to go towards the second part of this reading. So the High Priestess is surrounding your entire reading. The card for intuition and knowing in the tarot deck. The moon that's back here is enlightening you. And it's saying, hey, listen to yourself. Whatever yourself is telling you, let your head, your heart, your gut all come together. Whatever it's telling you, pay attention and trust and believe in yourself. This is really going to help you move forward in life. Your intuitions right now are very strong. Up in your highest energy, I have the tower. This is the destruction of, the blowing up of, the, you know, it could be just an argument of sorts that feels like a, a tower moment. These are the strongest energies in your whole reading. Follow your intuition, you know. Whatever that you are trying to get the truth from, like this tower moment, um, whatever your gut's telling you is probably the truth. And talk about probably the truth. I have the Ace of Swords right above the High Priestess and next to the tower. This is all about the truth. Clarity. And this can come through conversation, but to me, it's saying you have the truth. Just listen to yourself, okay? And it has something to do with the tower moment. I have the star right next to the Ace of Swords. This is the card for Aquarius. Aquarius might be strong in someone's chart here around this reading. But Taurus, um, this is a very deep healing card. Right down to your bare bones. Okay? This is remembering what you want, what you don't want. Um, it is very spiritual. So, you're, it looks like you're going through a lot of deep healing. It looks like uh, the truth and the clarity is some tower moment. Um, you have a lot of questions about it, and you have the answers within you, a lot of them. I have the Nine of Wands under the Tower card and right next to the High Priestess. Pull that up there. So, the Nine of Wands, this is becoming, that tower moment was a big burden. And you've been carrying it, because I don't think you've really been... Trust, I don't, I think you felt like you really don't know what happened, you know. But if you just listen to your intuition, you will know. And that's really going to help you heal. I have the Nine of Swords on the other side of the High Priestess and under the star. Oh my goodness, look at all those swords of truth and clarity coming to you if you just open up to it. This is really going to help you heal. Seriously. Deep healing, all those swords. And then I have the sun. The sun comes out, my favorite card, okay? This is about fresh starts, new beginnings with lots of love and lots of joy. So things are changing in April. You're going through a process here. You're going to trust and believe in yourself. You're going to accept the answers that you already have within yourself. This is going to help you to move forward. And it looks like a reunion with somebody is coming in. Now, the Three of Cups. This reunion uh, is full of love. Um, two cups of love being poured into one. 
uh, there's a beautiful reunion. There's it's celebratory, and it's right next to the sun. Fresh starts, new beginnings, lots of love and joy with a reunion with somebody that you already know. This I don't know if it's the same person that you might have had a tower. This tower moment could be anything. It doesn't say that it's with a person. It could have been uh, something at work, something with health. I'm not sure. But I do know that once you get through this, you have a fresh start, new beginning coming in. You have a reunion with somebody here uh, that is bringing in a lot of love. And look, the Ace of Cups is right next to the Three of Cups. And this is under the Nine of Swords. That truth and clarity, no matter how hard it is to deal with, you need to get that behind you so you can have all these other cards down here come in. So that's what you'll be up to. That's what's going on. So there's a lot of love coming your way. You got three cards of love right here. Uh, fresh starts, new beginnings, love, joy. You have love. You have three cups of love here. You have the ace of cups right next door. Um, things are changing. You're going through a lot of healing over some kind of tower moment. I really don't feel like this is the same person coming back so far. I can change my mind. So please give me the rest of the cards I need for Taurus Universe. What else do they need to know? Here we go. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so we have the Four of Cups next to the star. You know, whoever this person is, they do try to come back in. But you don't allow it. Because I think that you are letting this go. You're letting this... Whatever this is, this tower moment, you're going to be able to let it go. And, and nobody can rekindle it. Nobody can make it happen again. Nobody can offer that to you again. Uh, they can't like offer a cup of love in the same situation because your end is dead. Your end is no longer viable for the love. Okay, So you're not going to accept anybody to... Um, Bring in this tower energy again. Here's the King of Pentacles right next to the Four Cups. This is Earth Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn Taurus. This is you. Uh, might be strong in somebody else's chart too, but look at the size of that pentacle. It's huge. Security, stability, groundedness. You have a huge pentacle. You are grounded. Okay? Uh, you could offer it to someone if you had someone to offer it to, right? But... Male or female now, all the kings and queens, all the cards are male or female. Very mature thinking, kings and queens. So you have this, uh, and you're hanging on to it. But right next to the king of pentacles is the six of wands. So there's going to be success in love. That's what this card's all about. I'm looking at the other cards. It looks like what they're trying to say here is you are not going to hand out your pentacle until there is success in love. Not until you're seen as a couple by everybody. Not until you get to a certain point in a relationship. And there's a reason for that, and I'll get to that in just a minute. I have the Emperor under the Four of Cups and next to the Nine of Swords. This is the card for Aries. So Aries might be strong in your chart or in someone else's. But this is all about being true to yourself, being stubborn, uh, you know, hanging on to your values, what you want from life. This is under the Four of Cups. You're being very strong. Um, you're very well liked and respected by others. And you might be a leader in your profession. Um, all these swords of truth and clarity, they kind of bring you around to this place of really staying true to yourself. And not allowing uh, an unwanted cup of love to come in. They might have feelings for you. They may be serious, but you no longer do for them. It has to do with that tower moment. I have the three of pentacles next to the emperor and right under the king of pentacles. You did not see eye to eye. There might have been a third party with this card or a third energy that was interfering and in, that caused this tower energy that you were, uh, that you're healing from. You know, you're getting over it. You're getting past it. You don't want to go back there and you're being true to yourself. You know what you want. You do not see eye to eye with this other person that was trying to come back in. 
they they broke your heart they hurt you and and having you know the tower card and having the three of pentacles and now the three of swords there probably was another person involved and that's why you had a tower moment they could have been you know they could have been cheating or just married or just wanted to date other people uh, but whoever it is, it could be just about anything, but there is another person, I think, involved in this because it's right next to the Three of Pentacles, and that's why that you didn't agree on how to move forward or whether to move forward. And I have the Devil card. Look at that. That's another card that suggests a third party, a third somebody. So this is a card for Capricorn. Capricorn might be strong in someone's chart here. But look, there's three. One, two, three. And that pentacle, that pentacle does not come forward with this toxic energy. That's what it is. And it's this third energy that's attached to somebody here. And I think that they, it was a third party. I do. And I think that you're just standing up for yourself. You're being true to yourself. You don't want this anymore. Look, there's three cups right in front of you here. And they try to come back in like, oh, come on. You know, don't be so serious or whatever. But um, you're not going to have it. You're now the emperor. I have the hermit next to the devil and under the three of pentacles. You took time. You took time out of your life to think about this. Very spiritual card, the hermit. This is the card for Virgo, by the way. So Virgo might be strong in someone's chart here. But their job, the hermit, is shining a lantern, shining a path. For you to move forward in the darkness that you felt with the devil and the three of pentacles. You know, the hermit is shining this path for you to follow. And you're getting it. And you are becoming very strong in, in, in your convictions. I have the judgment card next to the hermit and under the three of swords. Everything you had to go through here was a spiritual lesson. And you woken up to it. And I think the spiritual lesson is being true to yourself, is putting yourself, your values, you know, first. It's, it's not putting up with these deceitful type energies that these third parties, you want a successful, loving relationship. And it looks like there will be success in love, uh, but you need to hold out for it. Right here. You need to hold out for it. And it's going to be from somebody you already know. Somebody's coming in that you have known before sometime. It's going to be like a reunion with someone. You might run into them online. You might run into them at a grocery store. But this is going to be your fresh start and new beginning. This is real love. And it's going to turn to real love. So goodbye to toxic energy. Hello to uh, love. Real love. So let's pull out an angel card. Let's find out what your guardian angels and spirit guides have to say. This may or may not have to do with this reading. This is for Taurus, please. Taurus. Ooh, one flew out. That's the one. Put my glasses on. It's card 13. See that? 13. And it says letting go. I'm going to read it to you. Releasing the past can seem like a challenge, but it can also be liberating. Your angels will help you let go so that you can fly higher than ever before. Endings always herald new beginnings. Choose to allow this situation to lead you to a more joyful life. Change your life by changing your thoughts. Wasn't that in your Universe card? Something to that order? Change your life by changing your thoughts. You have a lot of deep healing to do from a previous oh, a previous uh, relationship that was toxic. And Taurus, it looks like it's going to work out beautifully. You're learning a spiritual lesson. You're becoming very strong. Follow your intuition. To get to the truth and clarity. Trust and believe in yourself and the decisions that you are making for you. 